Hi everybody, my name's Rad, I'm one of the owners of Unity Gym and today I'm gonna to teach you how to do a muscle up. I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know in order to get your first muscle up. Now the prerequisites for a muscle up are a pull up. You wanna be able to do uh, at least five body weight pull ups. Uh, you can do, the, do it with a supinator grip. I've, to be honest, I've found it doesn't really matter what grip you can do, but you do wanna be able to do five good body weight pull ups. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is to develop a false grip. Uh, and before we I demonstrate the false grip, I'm just going to show you how you chalk your hands. First, you want to chalk over your whole palm, like what I've got here. You also want to chalk down on your wrist. Now, I was doing my muscle ups yesterday uh, in my workout and I took a little bit of skin off my left wrist. So when you do that, you do need to, to wrap some tape around your wrist, like what I've done here. But so the palm, the wrist here, and then also on top of the hand here. Those are the areas of the hand that are gonna be gripping on the rings and you, you need to make sure you chalk them. So when you do a false grip, basically you're going to stand, uh, you're gonna put your hands through the inside of the rings and grab to the far side like this. And then we're gonna pull down and turn the hands in. So what that looks like is if I face the camera here, so I, I reach through the rings to the opposite side pull down and turn my hands in. And what that does is, it puts all the pressure right here. And it allows me, because the whole thing of a muscle up is really, it's just transitioning from here to here. Going from this position where you're in the top range of a pull up, to the position where you're in the bottom range of a dip. And the false grip allows you to keep the ring at the same level of your body and just rotate over it into that dip position. If you just try and go from here, it's virtually impossible to get over there like that. So you need to develop this false grip. So what we're gonna do basically to start with is you're gonna do false grip holds. Now the way a false grip hold works is you start like this, you start at the top range of motion. You can't see, but I've got my feet off the ground here. And then as you get better, you're going to go down into the bottom range. So from here, you'll gradually go down until you're right at the bottom and you turn your hands out. I'll just give you another view of that now. So you can see that what I'm doing is, it, it, it's actually much harder when you go all the way down like that. So you start by just holding it in tight with your elbows in. You wanna be able to do 30 seconds. When you can do 30 seconds, you gradually go down a bit and eventually you get to a point where you can go to that full locked out position where the arms are externally rotated and just hang in there like that for 30 seconds. When you can do that for three rounds, your false grip is gonna be strong enough for a muscle up. So really work on that. The next skill that we're gonna work on is a ring hold. So the ring hold is training the top uh, position for the muscle up. So once you've gone over the rings, we're going to lock the arms out retract the scapula so you don't want to do a ring hold with your shoulders forward like this it, it's poor scapular activation uh, so just to train those shoulders properly we want to pull them back like this and externally rotate and just hold there for 30 seconds like this So you want to get that externally rotated position with the scapula retracted and uh, it's a lot harder than it looks so you can actually start you can start that by having your feet supported on the ground so uh, where you're just on your tippy toes okay but you've got the majority of your weight in your arms but your feet are just there to support you and then as you get better you want to take those feet off the ground so next we're going to work on ring transitions this is where it starts getting hard because now we've developed the false grip the pull up and the ring hold. So we've developed all the skills we need for the muscle up. Now what we need to do is work on the transition. So getting from the pull up position into the uh, dip position, okay? So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna set up a seat slightly in front with the top of the chair slightly in front of the point that the rings are hanging to, okay? So this is set up about this far away. Uh, I'll show you another angle in a minute. And uh, I'm gonna get in the false grip and I'm gonna hold in the hold the, the rings against my chest and then transition to the position of the dip. Now, why have I got a chair there? Because if, and why is it in front of my body? Because if I push too hard with my feet down on the chair, it flips back, so it forces me to use my arms. If this is too hard for you, you can definitely lower the rings and have your feet on the ground, but I don't recommend doing that 
for very long. It, it will not create the movement that you need for a good ring transition. So I'll just demonstrate a couple quickly. So what you can see there, the other thing that we're looking for is that your body doesn't sway back and forward. You want to uh, imagine that the rings are stuck like this and your body is rotating around the rings. You don't want to be going back and forward when you do this like that. That really doesn't work well. It's not going to transition well to a good muscle up. Uh, And when you do those transitions, you want to work three sets for one minute. It's not about the reps, it's about the time that you do it for. So you want to put a timer on, do a minute on and a minute off. It's really tough, really challenging for people when they get started, uh, but it's really going to develop that muscle up for you. So once you've mastered all those skills and you've achieved the uh, required amount of uh, time and reps, so we want to really get a 30 second false grip hold down the bottom in full range for uh, three sets. You can pair that with a 30 second ring hold for three sets. So you can do one set of the false grip hold, one set of the ring hold, a minute break between each one. Uh, then we wanna work on the transitions. You wanna be able to do three sets of one minute where you do one minute on. So it's not about the reps, it's just about going through the transitions and then one minute off. And then uh, once you've done all that and you've got uh, five body weight pull-ups, then you're ready for your muscle up. So let's have a look at it. And that's it guys, that's how you do your muscle up. If, you, uh, if you're struggling to get your body weight pull-ups, you can see our instructional videos on our YouTube channel for how to achieve your first body weight pull-ups. But if you can do your body weight pull-ups and you understand uh, what I've just explained there and you put the work in, uh, train this twice a week, no more than twice a week. It's uh, too intense for the, uh, for the upper body, for the joints. Uh, you can get tendonitis, so you wanna have at least two days break between doing this. Um, if you do start to experience pain in your elbow here, uh, that's the onset of tendonitis, stop immediately, uh, go and see a practitioner, have a look at our video, how to fix golfer's elbow, um, and uh, yeah, take care of that first, because that's only gonna get worse. And uh, good luck, guys, enjoy getting that first muscle up.